Well, this week we're going to talk about faith. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We're still in the round pen. We're looking at the basic principles of Christianity. These are things that you need to know as a Christian, whether a, whether a, a, a mature Christian or a baby Christian. We need to learn these things. So again, we're talking about faith this week. The just shall live by faith. This declaration is uh, seen four different times in the Bible. For instance, it's seen in Habakkuk 2, 1 through 5. It's also seen in Romans chapter 1 through 17. It's seen in Galatians chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. And it's in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. Now, if you haven't figured out by now, get your pencils and papers out. You need to write these down and go over them. It's for you to study. I'm just going to present it. You need to study it. In Habakkuk, we see the difference between the lives of the just and the unjust. The unjust are puffed up and they uh, live by their own self-sufficiency. But we, the just, we live... Uh, um, independence upon God uh, we, and we live with confidence in God. Uh, faith is more than a philosophy of life. Um, it is the very principle of life, Habakkuk 2.4. The just live their whole lives by faith. Um, we're saved by faith, that's Acts chapter 16 verse 31. We're kept by faith, that's 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 5. We live by faith, Galatians 2.20. Uh, our faith is tried many, many times, that's 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7. But faith always is vindicated, it's always victorious, amen. Faith defines reason. Why? Because the object of our faith is God, and God is supernatural, right? And so our faith is in God and in his word, the supernatural word. And so faith, faith uh, defies reason. If you try to reason this out, it doesn't make any sense, okay? Why? Because, it, for instance, it moves mountains. Matthew chapter 17, verse 14 through 21. Faith does not always face facts. It never gives up. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32 through 39. Faith says God is working out his perfect will in my life and I can wait, endure, and suffer. Faith does not make anything easy, but it always makes all things possible. Did you hear that? Faith doesn't make it easy. It just makes it possible. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's talk about what is faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 through 3. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So faith is the substance. It's the deed, the, the deed of trust uh, of things hoped for. Our faith is our title, uh, title deed to eternal life. Okay? Just as title deed is evidence of real estate, so your faith is evidence of your, uh, your eternal estate in God. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. Faith is taking God at his word and asking no questions. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says it's impossible to please God without faith. And he who comes to him must know that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So once again, we just take God at his word. We don't question, ask any questions. We just do what he tells us to do. And our faith and confidence is in him. Amen. Faith is knowing that all things work together for the good for those that love God and are called to according to his purposes. That's in Romans chapter 8 verse 28. But faith uh, does not believe that all things are good or that all things work well. It does believe that all things, good or bad, work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purposes. And then faith has two sides. One side has to do with the intellect. The other side has to do with uh, um, uh, it, I'm sorry, one side has to do with intellect. It is an intellectual conviction that Jesus Christ is God. The other side has to do with the will. It is the volitional uh, surrender of the will of Je uh, of the will to Jesus Christ. So in other words, first of all, the intellectual side says that I need, a, I'm a sinner, I need a savior. Uh, okay, that's the intellectual side. The volitional side is then you voluntarily saying, I surrender to him. Amen. Um, let's see. 
We see that in Thomas when he says, my Lord and my God. My Lord, this was the volitional surrender. In other words, I surrender. He's the Lord of my life. My God, this is the intellectual conviction. He is my God, therefore I surrender. Together you have saving faith. Saving faith is an intellectual conviction that Jesus is God and a volitional surrender to him as Lord and Savior. So yes, I uh, my intellectual side says that Jesus is God, but my volitional side says I surrender to him. He is the Lord of my life. Amen. Okay, faith is paradoxical. It goes beyond reason. It, it believes without understanding. Why? It sings in prisons, Acts chapter 16, verse 25. It glories in tribulations, Romans chapter 5, verse 3. It chooses to suffer afflictions, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 25. Accepts all things as part of God's will, Philippians chapter 1, verse 12. You are not born with this faith. It comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. It comes from Romans chapter 10, verse 17. This is why we are commanded to preach the gospel to every creature that they may hear and believe. Amen. So that's what faith is. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.